Hey everyone, welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the seventh lesson in air law and Canadian aviation regulations. In this lesson, we'll be covering pre-flight and fuel requirements for your flight. First off, let's cover some of the requirements for carry-on baggage equipment and cargo. So all cargo must be secured. This is kind of something that often falls by the wayside. A lot of pilots forget about, and I probably did earlier in my career as well. You just throw everything in the baggage compartment, just like you throw everything in the back of your trunk. But this is insufficient. There's a number of reasons why cargo has to be secured. One of them is that there can be a, they can move and there can be a change in the center of gravity, making the aircraft uncontrollable. The second reason might be that in the case of a crash or some sort of uh, poor landing, that cargo ends up becoming dislodged, hitting you, knocking you unconscious. Okay, let's talk about fuel requirements. It's a red title, so you know you pretty much have to memorize this. For an aircraft, uh, an aeroplane, I should say, you must have enough fuel to fly to the destination, plus have 30 minutes of reserve fuel during, for a flight during the day, or 45 minutes of reserve fuel at night. You also have to account for all possible weather, air traffic control, or other possible delays. For a helicopter, you have to fly to uh, the destination plus 20 minutes. Prior to flight, the pilot in command is responsible for uh, providing the passengers with a passenger briefing. Uh, this has to cover location of exits, operation of seatbelts, emergency equipment, and securing luggage. It's uh, important that as a pilot in command, you ensure that this is done, even if you are, let's say, flying commercially, and another crew member is responsible uh, for doing this, such as a flight attendant, uh, or in the case of an air ambulance, uh, paramedic. So one thing that happened to me many years ago, I was working as an air ambulance pilot. One day I got called in the chief pilot's office and was told, well, a report was filed that you did not provide a passenger briefing. And in that operation, it wasn't technically my responsibility to provide a passenger briefing. It was the paramedic's responsibility to provide a passenger briefing to their patient. But regardless, uh, as a pilot in command, the captain of the aircraft, it was ultimately my responsibility. Uh, thankfully, nothing happened. I was just uh, given a warning, but it uh, it really reinforced that responsibility that in the end, as a pilot in command, everything is your responsibility. Okay, let's uh, just quickly review what we learned in this lesson. All carry-on baggage equipment and cargo must be properly secured. For an aeroplane, you have to be able to fly to the destination, plus have 30 minutes reserved for a day flight or 45 minutes reserved for a night flight and account for various delays. And it is the pilot's responsibility to provide a passenger briefing to the passengers. Okay, let's get started uh, through some uh, sample exams, uh, sample test questions. These are some of the questions that you may see on your private pilot license exam or your pre solo or PSAR test. Uh, so the first question, the amount of fuel and oil carried on board any helicopter at the helicopter, emphasis, at the commencement of a day VFR flight must be sufficient to provide for foreseeable delays having been considered to fly to the destination aerodrome. And so this is pure memorization. Remember for a helicopter, it's 20 minutes at normal cruising speed. So the correct answer, C, 20 minutes at normal cruising speed. 
Next question, the amount of fuel carried on board any propeller-driven aeroplane at the commencement of a day VFR flight must be sufficient having regard to the meteorological conditions and foreseeable delays that are expected in flight to fly to the destination aerodrome. And, and we know for day VFR, it's 30 minutes at normal cruising speed. Okay, that concludes uh, this lesson on uh, pre-flight and fuel requirements. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.